them came from. On my mama, they can't harm us. Got my arms up, but we covered in that armor. And we done made it. Y'all ain't hear me, but we made it. I ain't learned it, but I'll take it. Got that light inside of me that you don't need no eyes to see. And you can feel it, you can hear it when I say, hey, hey. Children, how are you? Have you been? Give me a high five. I've missed you so much. Did you sing along to that song? This is amazing, grow. Did you do the This is unfailing love. Did you do those dance steps? That you will bear my cross. Oh, that was a beautiful song. I hope you danced along. It was so, so, so amazing. Enjoy the amazing love of God and, of course, the amazing love of Daddy and Mommy. We've got something in stock for you today. But before we start, let us pray. You put your hands together, you bow your heads. And you close your eyes. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for today. Thank you for the amazing love of Christ that we have and share. Give us listening ears and an understanding heart today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Guess what? What are we doing today? Can you guess? What's the topic that we've been treating for the past six to seven weeks? What's the what's the what's the word that I've been calling every time I come and teach you a lesson? I hope you've been listening. I hope you've been enjoying it. What's the word? Somebody said it. Faith and trust. Well done. Put your hands together. So for the past eight weeks, I've been sharing you different examples in the Bible of different people that used their faith and their trust in God. And guess what? Today, we are going to look at a summary. We're going to look at a recap. I'm going to ask you questions to see if you can still remember. And we'll take it from there. So what was the first story I talked about? Can you remember? When there was that little boy who killed that big giant, what's his name? David and Goliath. Well done. David and Goliath was the first story I talked about. How David had such faith and boldness and he approached Goliath and he killed him with what? With a stone. Well done. Well done. The slink and the stone. And do you remember the activity that we did? I told you to, you know, to make a craft, put some sticky lolly. And then, you know, and then try and pull it. So that was David and Goliath. That was so bitter. That was a very, very first story that we did. And after that, what did we talk about again? We talked about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes, yes, those three boys in the fire. And what happened? God was with them in the fire and the king was afraid. He said, what? There is a third, fourth man walking in the fire. Bring them out. Give them out. And guess what? Did their body smell of fire? No. They were all smooth and they were not burnt at all. And everybody was commanded to worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That was the second story we did where we just looked at those boys, how they were ready to face the fire. They had such great faith. The third one we did was what? Jesus, his Jairus daughter. Yes, it was that little girl and she was 12 years old. She was so cute. This is a picture. She was very sick and the daddy went to Jesus to say, come and heal my daughter. And the people even tried to push him away to say, don't disturb him. Your daughter is dead. And she said, no, Jesus healed my daughter. And while everybody was there, Jesus commanded the girl to wake up. And guess what? She woke up and Jesus said, give us some chicken and chips. Give us something to eat. And for the one of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we drew the furnace and the fire. Can you remember? We were cutting some yellow and red triangles trying to make some fire. And we, we drew a picture of 
three boys and one nice Jesus. The first one we talked to was Jesus healed the centurion servant. Yes, the servant was sick. And the, the master went to Jesus to say, please heal my servant. And he said, yes, I will heal your servant. And that was when we looked at the F. A I T H. Forget about impossible. Trust him. Do you remember when I asked you to draw it with your finger and put the acronyms and put it about in your room? That was the week. Yes, Jesus healed the centurion's servant. What did we learn after that? Can you remember? We learned Jesus healed the paralyzed man. Yes, it was that man. Yes, that was the one whereby the friends broke and opened up the roof. Why? Because they wanted their friend to be healed. And Jesus was shocked. Why did they break the roof again? Do you remember? Yes, the place was so full. Nobody could see Jesus. The only way they could see Jesus was to open up something on top. Don't open up your roof. No, don't open anything. But in those days, those friends were desperate. And they said, no, we need Jesus to see our best friend. And they opened up the roof and they lifted him down. And guess what? Jesus said, what? Your faith has made you whole. And then I think that was the activity I told you to tell your daddy. What are the ways you can show love to your friends? That was the week you were to go back to school. I hope you told daddy and mommy the ways that you can show love to your friends. What did we learn after that? We learned about Abraham and Sarah. Yes. What age did they have Isaac? Very, very old. Very old. Abraham was 100 years old when Sarah had the baby. They had given up. They thought no baby is coming. But God still showed up for them. God kept his promise. Abraham kept believing God. Even though they were old, they kept believing God. And something that looked impossible became possible yes the one of last week do you remember yes daniel in the lion's house no daniel in the lion's then that's it clap 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 the friends they set up daniel's they said daniel He's praying against the king's order. But then they said, I've got to pray. I've got to pray. I've got to pray. And they said, oh, anybody that prays, anybody that disobeys the king's order is going to be put in the lion's den. And was Daniel put in the lion's den? Yes. What happened to him? Did the lions eat him? No. What happened? Yes, the angel of the Lord came and shut the mouth of the lion. And the king was very, very sad. And when he woke up in the morning, he said, Daniel, Daniel, has the Lord your God been able to save you? And he said, yes, I am here. And Daniel was removed from the lion. So seven beautiful stories. Is it seven or eight? Can you count? Count. Tell me later. Drop me a text, you know. Stories that we have learned of some faith and trust heroes in the Bible. This is the end of this season of teaching about the faith heroes and the trust heroes. From next Sunday, we are going to be talking about another story. I look forward to seeing you. If you want to drop me your feedback, if you want to drop me your comment, if you want to tell daddy and mommy what you thought about me, what you would like to see, anything, just tell daddy and mommy and they will send me a message or drop me an email. But that's it from me today, just to do a recap of all the things that we have been talking about in the last few weeks. I love you so much. Be a good boy. Be a good girl. I'll see you very soon. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. Help us, oh God, to build up our faith in you. Even as little children, let us have faith in little things. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye. Bye-bye. See you later.